Hello, logic language learners. So, uh, those of you that haven't already done so, can I ask you to uh, like the Facebook page? There is a new Facebook page if you look for logic language learning, all attached on Facebook. Um, and then you can message me, ask me any questions directly. By all means, still comment on YouTube. By all means, still say hello by email. But I just wanted to give you guys a way to say hello more directly and ask questions more directly. So if you message me, by all means, add me as a friend on there and I will uh, and I will respond to you. So today's video is part of our series where we look at confusing words, where we have different things going on in French and we wanted to work out which one is which. So the first video in this series is about the difference between jour and journée, soir and soirée, an and année, and matin and matinée, okay? So before we go any further, let's quickly look at those words. So we have in black the masculine form. So un an, un jour, un soir, un matin. Okay? And this is our normal word when we will just be saying, uh, we'll be referring to these in quantity or pff, we're just throwing it away. So this morning, ce matin, this evening, ce soir. Okay? Uh, that day there, ce jour là. Yeah, three days, trois jours. Yeah, we're counting, okay? I'm uh, 39. <laughs> J'ai 39 ans, okay? I'm 39 years. I'm not really being specific about the year. I'm just talking about 39 of them. So I'm just counting. So this is the main word that you will use for these situations. So we've got to ask ourselves, ourselves, when do we use the feminine form? So let's look how we spell those. So une année... N double E, we've added on the end. Journée, we've added an N double E. Soirée, the double E, and matinée, the double E. So let's look when we use the feminine form. So the first thing we use the feminine form with is when we are being specific. So if I said, for example, this year, okay, this year, I'm going to say, set feminine, set année. Or next year, l'année prochaine, because I'm talking about next year, specifically next year. Or I could say last year, l'année dernière. Okay, a word you know. So that will be feminine because I'm speaking about the specific year. Okay? Um, so, for example, the 60s, the specific year 60, were les années. Les années 60, the year 60. For five years, pour cinq ans. Yeah, he went to Paris for, uh, for five years. Il est allé à Paris enfin, pendant cinq ans because it'd been the past, okay? So that's when we use the specific with year, okay? Now let's look when we use the specific feminine with day. So if you say hello to me, you say good day. Bonjour, you're saying good day. And in your mind, that's pretty much about today. You're wishing me a good day for today, not for tomorrow, but for today. But in French, when we finish the conversation and we say, oh, have a good day, we use the feminine form. So we will say passe or passe, so spend une bonne journée, or just simply bonne journée. So you could think at the beginning of the conversation, you're going to say bonjour, and at the end of the conversation, you're going to say bonne journée. Now, you might think, well, why? Because I'm talking about the same day. But the journée idea is about the quality of the day, the daytime, throughout the day. Okay? Ongoing throughout the day. Okay? And the same with soir. You bump into me in the evening. Bonsoir. Okay? After the conversation, how's your mom? She's fine. Da, 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 da. Have a good evening. Passe or passe, depending if you're tutoying or vouvoying the person. So, passe une bonne soirée, passe une bonne soirée. Now, so that's when you use greetings and goodbyes. When else do we use these specific words? If you're using words like all, tout, or during, yeah, yeah, during the day, pendant la journée, yeah, pendant la journée. So if you can either, if you can, if you're looking at it closely and you're looking at the quality of it, it's going to be the feminine one. Pendant la journée. One day, un jour. One day, we'll go to Paris. Un jour, un jour, on va aller à Paris. On ira à Paris. Okay? One day. Yeah? One day, un jour. 
During the day there, pendant la journée, okay, so that is more of a detailed examination. All day I've been working. J'ai travaillé toute la journée, okay? When would we use soir in exactly the same situation? Now, you've probably already heard the word soiree in your own language, which is kind of like a party, okay? Uh, a kind of an elegant party. But uh, pendant la soirée is like during the evening, okay? Uh, this evening, ce soir, yeah? Uh, less used than journée, but the same idea. Okay, so again, it's when you're talking throughout the process of during the evening, okay? Matinee will be the same thing. So if you're talking about the end of the, the... If you're talking about the process or going through the morning or towards the end of the morning. Now, if you're talking about towards the end of the morning, it means you're dividing it, you're working your way through it. So en fin de matinée, en fin de matinée, okay? We wouldn't really say bon matin, bonne matinée. Yeah, um, uh, as much, but you can, but you can still say it. Certainly, you can say it. Okay, you won't really say bon matin, but you say passe une bonne matinée, have a good eve, have a good morning. Okay, so it's when you're talking about those individual things. Let's look for some problems though. This morning will be ce matin. This evening will be ce soir. This year will be cette année. So the rules aren't exactly the same for all of them, okay? So let's just give you some examples now. So this morning, I went to the swimming pool. Ce matin, je suis allé à la piscine, okay? This evening, I'm um, teaching Callum. Ce soir, je vais travailler avec Callum, okay? Um, I meet the woman in the street. Bonjour, ça va? Oui, je vais bien. Vous allez bien? Oui, je vais très bien. Um, okay, madame, passez une bonne journée. Yeah, passez une bonne soirée. So the main ones to be worried about, the main situations that will crop up, are during the day, pendant la journée, toute la journée, and the difference between jour and journée, uh, soir and soirée, in greeting, meeting and greeting. They tend to be the main ones that pop up. So this year, cette année, last year, l'année dernière, three years, trois ans. She's 17, elle a 17 ans. We're not talking specifically, okay? We're just saying 17 of them. Yeah, we're not going into detail through them. So I really hope that's been useful. If things are still not clear, by all means, send me a commentary and send me a commentary. Send me an email or leave me a comment, a comment underneath. Or contact me on Logic Language Learning. If you look, in, look on Facebook, you will find it. I can't do prepositions in English today. Okay, so that is basically the idea I want you to have with you. That if it's being specific about the thing, it will be feminine. If you're just throwing it away, it will be masculine. Okay, uh, one final thing. Notice we've got a couple of other patterns that we've highlighted before that are good to remember. When we have a word with an N and then we add an an E, this habit of doubling up the N is not totally rare, is it? So where else have we seen this? So the verb to take, uh, prend, 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 prenons, prenez, prenn, prenn. Yeah, you'll have that E double N, E N T there. Um, uh, what else have we got going on? Okay, uh, en, année, en, année. So when we have the, uh, the E or the I, when we have a good vowel after an N, a vowel before the N is going to go higher. Certain, certain. So it's not just a question of being en, on or anything like this, okay? Matin, matinée. Again, yeah, the pronunciation is going to go higher before the N if you put a vowel after the N. So just a couple of habits that we need to really get into. Okay, guys, please subscribe, please like the video, please say hi on Facebook, and I hope to see you soon.